I ain't dying. Hi, I'm back. Now, I'm sure all of you are wondering... Nick, where the hell have you been? For which, I will give you two options. Number one, if you want the too long didn't read, basically, my channel got hacked, it got terminated, and now, thankfully, I'm back and I got it reinstated. Now, if you want some more details regarding that, which I really hope you do, then stick around and I hope I can answer some questions for you. So, what happened is that on May 3rd, I clocked out at about 2 o'clock in the morning, and upon waking up at around 10 a.m., I saw a notification, along with some messages from my friends, that my YouTube account had been terminated. However, my channel name wasn't The War Leader Productions, it was called Ark Invest US. Um, quick little note that I want to point out here, Ark Invest is an actual company, They're a legitimate company that's owned by Elon Musk, I just forgot to mention that in the recording. Somebody was hacking YouTube channels and impersonating as Ark Invest. When I say Ark Invest, I'm referring to the hacker, not the actual company. Now, truly. You can imagine my reaction upon waking up and seeing this email show up in my inbox. I wasn't confused, however, because I knew who this hacker was. Not personally, but like I had seen his activity before. One of my good friends who goes by Kecker on YouTube, he got hacked by this guy as well. His situation was different though, because he was awake at the time it happened, and thus he was able to react to it like right as it happened. Unfortunately, I was not so lucky because I was sleeping. Now he and I both had this hacker get into our Google accounts and our YouTube accounts and start up a Bitcoin live stream promoting cryptocurrency on our channels. Even if you don't know what Bitcoin and or cryptocurrency is, it doesn't really matter all that much. All you need to know is that it's an internet currency that YouTube doesn't support streaming of, especially because the hacker made it look like in this stream that Elon Musk was the one promoting Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I didn't see much of it, but when uh, Kecko's channel was hacked, I saw a glimpse of it, and as far as I could tell, they basically showed him talking about like cryptocurrency and made it look like he was in favor of it, right? YouTube took down the live stream and they removed my channel before I was even awake. Now, to be clear, I don't bear any ill will towards YouTube whatsoever. I want to make that abundantly clear. They did the right thing 100% and I fully support what they did. Um, my channel was overtaking and... <laughs> was overtaking? Jesus, I can't speak. My channel was overtaken and streaming content that was against YouTube policies. I was mad at the hacker, of course, but not YouTube. Now, I don't wanna go into too negative in this video because this is supposed to be an informative and more happy video right now just because I got my channel back and I wanna let y'all know what happened, but to give one negative bit of energy in this video, hatred does not begin to describe the feelings I have towards this fucking hacker. And that's all I'm going to say regarding personal feelings towards him. All right, I, I've, already, I've already explained my personal feelings about him to my friends. I'm not going to do that here. It's not the place for it. Now, as soon as this happened, I obviously spent a while researching what to do. Thankfully, YouTube provided an appeal for me to sign in the termination notice they sent through my email. Keep in mind, this happened on May 3rd. My channel got restored on the 19th. I was expecting my channel to take up to maybe a week to get back on track, but it took almost three full weeks because of issues I had filling out the appeal. YouTube's appeal system is all automated and you only get a person if you're in the creator program or if you get the channel restored, in which case you can contact the human support agent for further assistance. The latter is what happened in my case. The first time I sent the appeal, I got some weird automated reply of jarbled letters and numbers that didn't make any sense. Uh, I nearly knocked over a table when I got a notification from YouTube, only for it to be no sense. I read a couple posts on the YouTube community forums, um, and as far as I could tell, it was a glitch, and the forum posts I read were recommending these people who 
posted about this to send another appeal. So I did the same. Uh, the second appeal that I sent, I got a proper response back finally. It was an automated response, but it had stuff to do in it, right? Um, and they said to fill out a form stating I've been hacked. This is where the problems of taking forever to get my channel back started to occur. I clicked on the link to the form, and it took me to some page about securing my Google account, but not an actual form to fill out. And I tried everything I could think of to get the form to show up, but it wouldn't. So I tried waiting, contacting the YouTube community forums, which were no help, and looking up all sorts of info about it, which was few and far between to begin with. Finally, I just tried resubmitting a third appeal, and this one worked. I got a reply back a day and a half later and got to fill out the form and send it to YouTube. I got into contact with a human at YouTube about a couple things after that and now everything has been smooth sailing. Thank God. Currently, as of the time of recording this video, I still need to update the about me section on my page back to what it was, make sure my upload defaults are still the same and wait on my comments to come back. Regarding the comments, uh, this was one of the things I asked a YouTube employee about and they said it takes about 24 to 48 hours for all of them to come back, depending on how many videos the creator has. I have about 500, so I'm leaning closer to the 48 hour benchmark. I'm recording this the morning after my channel was restored, so, which was yesterday evening for me. Um, so my channel info in the comments may or may not be up by the time this video gets uploaded. We'll see. Now, some of you may or may not remember, but um, I was actually in the midst of working on a video as the channel got terminated. Uh, it was a multi-fandom that was supposed to be for a school project. It was an art project that could be any medium and it would represent who we are as a person. That could be our beliefs, things we like, aspects of life that we believe in, things like that. I chose to represent my beliefs and who I am as a person. I used characters and shows to represent who I am and traits that I associate with myself. Now, this video is available to view, but what ended up happening is that I had to add it to my backup channel. You can kind of see what it looks like right here. Um, this is another thing I'm going to post on my channel page is a link to this channel. I made that just after the channel termination and now it's available with only one video on it. Anyway, that video is going to be re-uploaded. Um, I'm also going to change one scene that my friend Kekka recommended me to change because it would be a perfect parallel to add in and much improved over the one that I originally had. But the main reason I'm re-rendering it is because I forgot to make it have support for widescreens. So on a big ass widescreen TV, it would just be a little tiny box in the middle. So I'll put a link in the description to my backup channel and you can go sub if you want. And you can also watch the multi fandom on there if you'd like, but I'm gonna re-upload it on my main channel and change the scene plus add the widescreen TV support. So I would just wait. I'm gonna re-render and re-upload that stuff within a day or two after this video. So It'll be here pretty quick. Now, we've come to the end. Um, I had a lot to talk about just because a lot happened from the hacker and all the other stuff that I had to think about while my channel was down. So let me just say now, thank you to everyone who supported me throughout this. Like, it, yeah. This isn't the most stressful thing in my life I've ever had to deal with by any means, but it was definitely not easy to go through just because it did put a lot of pressure on me. I've dealt with really bad shit before, but this was definitely up there. It's because, you know, I've spent six to seven years on this and then it was just taken from me because some asshole took it took it for a joyride. I know I've been making jokes and stuff throughout the video trying to keep it you know, somewhat upbeat and happy and all that, but genuinely... Thank you all so much for the support. Everybody who helped me, my friends on Discord, other YouTubers I got in contact with, the subs who found my ch backup channel, the subs who were like, hey, you're back as soon as my main channel got up. Y'all helped out a ton and it made it possible to get through this with my sanity in check. Um, so thank you all so much for your support. And I really appreciate the community that we've built, and I hope to continue making for it. Despite this setback of the channel termination, um, I hope our community can continue to thrive and continue to grow, and I can make awesome tributes and AMVs and all that kind of stuff for you guys. So thank you all one last time so much for your support through this. Y'all made it possible for me to keep pushing and eventually get my channel back. Now... I'm going to continue to work on getting the channel back in tip-top shape, and yeah, that's about it. I hope you all have a blessed day.